Hello friends, this is Poet Bala from Tamil Nadu. I am going to recite a poem called Dwam. And before reciting this, I would like to thank my sister, Paul Sujata ma'am, for providing me this opportunity to share a video through the renowned poetry group, Creative Tiripura. And thank you very much ma'am for asking me to share a video here. Yes. Dwam. I joined this pool when I had double play. With tears, I often came late along with the writing slate. Wore uniform, knitted in white and violet. We were 43, girls and boys, endured our childhood joy until the school time ends. Even now, we are thick friends. Day by day, those days, Ushered by the morning prayer, along with the philosophical shower of our school principal. It was our school principal, and we gathered like the frisky ants, and those memories bring jubilant. I still trace the musing Hindi Doha, sung by our senior Akka. Those lines animated my brain and mind, shortly convinced me from the book burden and strain. My teachers scolded me to mold, and this is what our principal told while beating me with the bamboo stick. And now my palm, very strong and thick. I hated maths and chemistry, and denied savouring the mystery behind this subject's history. I tasted different food during the lunch, when my dear friends quenched my thirst with the vegetarian feast and the pleasing name tree and that was the time I felt free between the busy class schedule and the mental muddle. I took short sleep when I hugged by the dram very deep after the sensational lunch hall but punished by the chemistry teacher who interrupted the dream throwing a wooden duster and cursed me stand near the door in the cement floor we, the lost bench boys, were the teacher's toys, never listened, never answered the questions asked. Since we were masked by the reverie and not at all worried when failed in the class test. And I often gave my performance very worst. I always craved to hear the lost bill to leave this troubling hill until that I carved my name on the table. The last day of my school made me realize that I was a fool when I understood my poor academic record and I convinced myself to face the life's fraud as a repay to my worst conduct. And then I seriously started to detect my level and stance and cognizance in the college and used to, to go in the positive mileage. Though I am hugged by the cityscape, I never allowed me to have an escape from study. I performed well under the lecturer's custody. And now I am ready to face any witty daddy. Thank you.